What makes the DNA of the Anglo-Saxons so unique? For centuries, historians have pieced together their story through written records and archaeological finds, but recent genetic discoveries have opened up an entirely new chapter, one that reveals surprising connections and hidden mysteries about their origins and impact. Did you know that the Anglo-Saxons didn't just replace the population of early Britain as many once believed? Instead, their DNA tells a much more complex story of migration, assimilation, and cultural blending. It's a story that reshaped the genetic landscape of England and continues to influence its people today. But what exactly makes their DNA stand out among ancient populations? How did their genes mix with those of earlier Britons? And what does this genetic legacy tell us about who we are today? Stick with us, because in this video, we're uncovering the remarkable secrets hidden within Anglo-Saxon DNA. You'll learn how science is rewriting the history of early England and why these genetic mysteries still matter. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Are you as fascinated by ancient genetics as we are? Let's dive into the incredible story of the Anglo-Saxons. To understand why Anglo-Saxon DNA is so unique, we first need to explore who the Anglo-Saxons were and how they came to shape early medieval England. Their story begins in the chaos following the collapse of the Roman Empire in the 5th century. The term Anglo-Saxon actually refers to a mix of Germanic tribes, the Angles, the Saxons, and the Jutes, who migrated from what is now Denmark, northern Germany, and the Netherlands. These groups weren't just invaders. They were settlers who gradually took over much of Britain, bringing with them their languages, customs, and ways of life. But it wasn't a simple case of replacement. The existing population of Britain, made up of Celtic-speaking tribes, didn't just vanish. Instead, the archaeological and genetic evidence shows a fascinating process of cultural blending and genetic mixing. This interaction between the migrating Anglo-Saxons and the native Britons is a key to understanding their unique DNA. Why is this history so important? Because it's more than just the story of a migration. It's the foundation of modern England, its language, its culture, and even its people's genetic makeup. Recent studies have shown that Anglo-Saxon DNA left a lasting imprint on the genetic landscape of Britain, one that we're only now beginning to fully understand. So, as we move forward, keep this historical backdrop in mind. The DNA of the Anglo-Saxons doesn't just tell us about who they were. It also reveals how their arrival changed the course of British history forever. Now that we understand the history, let's dive into the science. What makes Anglo-Saxon DNA stand out compared to other ancient populations? The answer lies in its unique blend of genetic ancestries and the surprising patterns uncovered by modern researchers. First, let's talk about origins. Studies of ancient skeletal remains from Anglo-Saxon burial sites reveal a distinct genetic profile. Approximately 38 to 40 percent of the DNA in modern English populations can be traced back to these Germanic migrants. But that's only part of the story. Their DNA also shows clear signs of mixing with the existing Celtic-speaking Britons, who contributed between 20 and 30 percent of the genetic makeup. This blending of ancestries creates a fascinating genetic mosaic. For example, certain single nucleotide polymorphisms, tiny variations in DNA, are unique to populations with Anglo-Saxon heritage. These markers not only connect modern Britons to their medieval ancestors, but also provide insights into traits that may have helped the Anglo-Saxons thrive in their new homeland. Another surprising finding comes from studying mitochondrial DNA, which is passed down through the maternal line. Researchers have found evidence suggesting that Anglo-Saxon men were more likely to migrate than women, intermarrying with local Britons. This pattern shows how cultural and genetic influences merged over time, creating a hybrid population that carried both traditions forward. But the uniqueness of Anglo-Saxon DNA isn't just about the blending. It's about how it shaped what came after. Genetic dominance doesn't necessarily mean cultural dominance. So, how much of the modern English identity is rooted in Anglo-Saxon DNA, and how much in their cultural influence? That question continues to spark debate among scientists and historians alike. The more we uncover about their DNA, the more we realize that the Anglo-Saxons weren't just invaders or settlers. 
they were participants in a centuries-long process of blending and adaptation, leaving behind a genetic legacy that continues to intrigue us today. Modern science has taken us closer than ever to understanding the genetic story of the Anglo-Saxons. Thanks to advances in DNA extraction and sequencing, researchers have been able to analyze ancient remains from burial sites across England, uncovering fascinating insights into who these people were. One of the most significant breakthroughs came from studying grave sites from the early medieval period. Scientists found that Anglo-Saxon burial sites often contained a mix of individuals, some with predominantly Germanic DNA and others with clear genetic links to native Britons. This was a strong indicator of cultural and genetic blending over time, challenging the older narrative that Anglo-Saxons entirely replaced the local population. For example, in the eastern regions of England, where Anglo-Saxon influence was strongest, researchers discovered that individuals buried with Anglo-Saxon artifacts didn't always have predominantly Germanic DNA. Instead, their genetics often reflected a mix, showing how native Britons adopted Anglo-Saxon culture while maintaining their genetic identity. One remarkable case study comes from the famous burial site at Sutton who, often associated with Anglo-Saxon royalty. While the artifacts buried there are undeniably Germanic in style, DNA analysis suggests that some individuals in similar burial sites carried mixed genetic signatures. This raises intriguing questions. Were they rulers of Anglo-Saxon descent or native elites adopting Anglo-Saxon customs to maintain their power? Another groundbreaking discovery involves isotopic analysis, which, when combined with DNA, reveals migration patterns. Some Anglo-Saxon skeletons show isotopic signatures indicating they were born outside of Britain, likely in Northern Europe, while others appear to have been local to the British Isles. This paints a picture of a population constantly in flux, shaped by both incoming settlers and the existing communities. These discoveries have fundamentally changed how we view the Anglo-Saxon era. Rather than seeing them as a monolithic group, we now understand that their society was dynamic and diverse, with genetics reflecting a complex interplay of migration, intermarriage, and cultural assimilation. As scientists continue to decode ancient genomes, each discovery adds another layer to the story of the Anglo-Saxons, revealing a past that's as intricate as the genetic threads connecting it to the present. So what does all this mean for modern Britain? How much of the Anglo-Saxon genetic legacy has carried through to today, and how does it shape the identity of the British population? Recent genetic studies have shown that around 30 to 40 percent of the average English person's DNA can be traced back to Anglo-Saxon ancestors. However, this percentage isn't uniform across the UK. In areas like southeastern England, where Anglo-Saxon settlements were most concentrated, the genetic contribution is significantly higher. Meanwhile, in Scotland, Wales, and Cornwall, populations tend to show a much stronger genetic connection to the Celtic-speaking Britons who predated the Anglo-Saxons. But the influence of Anglo-Saxon DNA isn't just about ancestry. It's also tied to certain genetic traits that have persisted through centuries. For instance, researchers have identified genetic markers associated with the Anglo-Saxon lineage that may have contributed to adaptations for diet or resistance to diseases. While these traits are subtle, they highlight how ancient populations shaped the genetic toolkit of modern Britons. The Anglo-Saxon genetic story also extends beyond the borders of Britain. Modern populations in Denmark, Germany, and the Netherlands, regions where the Anglo-Saxons originated, share genetic similarities with their distant cousins in England. These shared markers are a reminder of the deep connections forged during the migrations of the early medieval period. Interestingly, the story of Anglo-Saxon DNA also reveals how migration and cultural exchange influenced the genetic makeup of Europe as a whole. While the Anglo-Saxons left a strong genetic imprint on England, their DNA is also a snapshot of Northern European populations at a pivotal moment in history, connecting Britain to a wider genetic network. In modern Britain, the Anglo-Saxon legacy is both genetic and cultural. From language to legal systems, their influence is everywhere. But their DNA is an enduring testament to a time of change, migration, and blending. A time when the foundations of modern England were laid. Ultimately, the Anglo-Saxons didn't just shape Britain's past. They also left a living legacy in its people today, 
written in their very genes. As we've seen, the DNA of the Anglo-Saxons tells a story that's far more complex than we once imagined. It's not just a tale of migration. It's a narrative of blending, adaptation, and transformation that shaped the genetic and cultural identity of Britain. From their origins in Northern Europe to their integration with the Celtic-speaking Britons, the Anglo-Saxons created a genetic mosaic that continues to influence modern Britain. Their DNA isn't just a relic of the past. It's a living legacy carried by millions of people today. But beyond the science, their story reminds us of the broader human experience of migration, assimilation, and the resilience of cultural identity. These themes resonate not just with Britain's history, but with the history of humanity as a whole. So what's next for Anglo-Saxon research? As DNA technology evolves, we'll uncover even more about their lives, their journeys, and their contributions to the world we know today. Every discovery adds another piece to this incredible puzzle. What do you think? Could other ancient populations hold similar genetic secrets waiting to be uncovered? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your perspective. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an opportunity to explore the past with us. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the DNA of the Anglo-Saxons. Until next time, keep asking questions, keep exploring, and remember, the past is always closer than we think.